Have you heard of or even used DOSH in the past and are curious if it's still worth it in 2023? Well, in this video, we're going to be taking an updated look at the cashback tool. Hey everyone, this is Kyle from Money at 30, and on this channel we look at personal finance from a millennial perspective, including app and tour reviews like this one. Several years ago when Dosh launched, it was easily one of my favorite cashback tools. Yet, after a few changes on the app's part, I stopped checking in as much. But having recently revisited the platform, I thought it was time for an update. So how does Dosh work in 2023 and is it still worth it? Let's take a look at a few things to know about the service. The first things to know about Dosh are how to sign up and link cards. Signing up for Dosh is a fairly simple process that starts with entering an email address and then a phone number, both of which you'll also need to confirm. And before you try, Dosh does disallow voice over IP numbers, so you'll need to use an actual phone number. After confirming your number, you'll then need to enter your name and create an account password. Once your account is open, you can begin linking cards. Currently, Dosh supports Visa, MasterCard, and American Express credit cards, as well as US debit cards. However, if you are using a debit card, be sure to run it as credit in order to earn cash back. Additionally, since some debit cards actually use Dosh on the back end for cashback offers, cards such as the Venmo debit card can't be linked. With these steps complete, you'll then be ready to start earning. Next, Dosh has a few different types of offers, including in-store and online. Starting with my favorite Dosh feature, you can earn cash back in-store just by using a linked card. In my experience, these in-store offers include a mix of national chains and local spots. For example, as of this recording, I could earn 5% back at Domino's, as well as at a couple of local breweries. Like I said, these are probably the easiest Dosh offers to use, and the pending cash back will show up nearly immediately after your purchase. Next, Dosh also includes online offers. For these, you'll want to shop using the link in the app and use a linked card at checkout. Admittedly, I don't use these nearly as much as the in-store ones, but they are worth checking out nonetheless. Lastly, the app now has a third main offer type that I'll call Activate Offers. As that name implies, these do require you to activate them, and they will expire at a stated date. The other big difference here is that they only support linked Visa cards. But on the upside, several of these deals can be redeemed either in-store or online, although you will want to check the terms on each. Between these three options, hopefully you can find a few offers that you can make use of on Dosh. On top of these offer types, Dosh also has a travel booking platform. If you're looking to book a hotel stay, it may be worth checking out Dosh for this as well. In this case, the app will state the dollar amount of cashback you'll earn rather than a percentage. Although, somewhat confusingly, the cashback shown is per stay, whereas the rate is per night. Ultimately, given how many factors there are in hotel booking prices and credit card rewards, you may want to shop around for the best deal, but Dosh could certainly be an option. In order to actually cash out your earned rewards, you will need to accrue at least $15 and have a PayPal or Venmo account. Once upon a time, Dosh increased the minimum rewards cash out amount to $25. Luckily, they since reversed that change, moving it back down to $15. Keep in mind that you'll also need to wait until all of your reward funds have settled in order to request a withdrawal. Something else that's changed since the last time I cashed out on Dosh is that the app seemingly no longer allows you to link a bank account. Instead, you'll need to connect either a PayPal or Venmo account in order to receive payment. This is a pretty simple process, but of course, you will need to have one of these accounts in the first place. One thing that is kind of nice is that you can select exactly how much you'd like to transfer out. So if you only want to take a few dollars now and keep your account closer to that $15 threshold for next time, you can definitely do so. Also, Dosh continues to offer a cashback donation option, but this too requires you to have at least $15 in your rewards account. Finally, in some cases, it looks as though you can actually double dip using Dosh along with similar platforms. Since Dosh's in-store offers only require that you use a link card, it may be possible to simultaneously take advantage of that offer alongside others. For example, I noticed that I was able to earn 5% back on Dosh while also getting 5% back on T-Mobile Dining Rewards. Honestly, with several different Dining Rewards platforms now available, I do wonder just how many of these you could conceivably tap in one transaction. Of course, it's also possible that this apparent loophole will soon be closed, but it may be worth a shot while it lasts. Overall, revisiting Dosh, I was excited to see that the app still has a lot to offer. In fact, I've occasionally been surprised by cashback earnings from it. Years after I first fell in love with it, there is still plenty to like about Dosh. For one, I'm glad that they've lowered the cash out threshold back to $15. Also, while the new Activate offers do come with some key restrictions, it's nice to have a variety of offer types rather than doing away with any one of them. Most notably, I'm very glad that the regular in-store offers still function the same way, as they've allowed me to even earn unexpected cash back. That's exactly what happened on a recent trip to Florida where, while utilizing my Amex Gold Card dining credit at Shake Shack, I accidentally also earned 5% back on Dosh. To me, this demonstrates just how easy it is to earn cash back on Dosh, which is why the app is still a winner in my book. 
Hopefully this gives you a better idea about what DOSH is all about in 2023, but for more on the app, I'll have a link to my full written review in the description box down below. Also, if you like this video, please hit the thumbs up button, leave a comment, and be sure to subscribe because we have new videos all the time. So thanks again for watching, and I will see you next time here on Money at 30.